My name is Maido, assistant professor in the department. Uh, I've been here since February of 2005. Um, I'm teaching one class, the survey data analysis using large scale survey data. Um, and the top topics are in family planning or reproductive health research that people can apply in their research in developing countries. Uh, this is a very hands-on class that students enjoy a lot, uh, which gives them a very uh, basic set of um, skills that they that is very uh, marketable. I have um, a few different areas of interest that, um, uh, that I'm working on um, in my research. One is the uh, health service utilization, looking at uh, people's choice of using healthcare services from the provider's perspective, from the health system perspective, as well as from the client's perspective. Now, from the uh, health system pr uh, perspective, and we usually call it the supply side, uh, we look at the availability, accessibility, quality of services, as well as financing mechanism, including insurance, uh, and also the role of the private sector in providing these services and how that affects people's use of services as well as um, inequalities, social and economic inequalities in these services. Um, from the client perspective, uh, I'm interested in uh, teasing out what the effects of individual, social, and cultural effects on um, healthcare utilization. Um, I'm also interested in the evaluation of uh, the impact of health communication programs on sexual behavior and uh, as well as healthcare utilization in developing countries. Uh, another part, uh, not a small part, a significant part of my research is working with the Vietnamese populations here in New Orleans, in the US, as well as in Vietnam. Uh, part of my research has to do with the uh, uh, looking at the impact of Hurricane Katrina as well as the BP oil spill and how these disasters impacted the uh, health status of the Vietnamese Americans in New Orleans. Um, if I were to give advice to prospective students, uh, my first advice would be to get involved with the faculty work and with, um, or with local organizations that work in public health. Um, that would give students not only the experience working in the real work setting, but also a help a lot of students figure out what they want to be after graduation, after they get a degree, what position that they would like to be in, what they like, what they don't like about working in public health. Uh, that would also help students um, appreciate some of the classes here that, are, that can be very abstract, um, that can be very theory driven, um, while taking classes, they may not see how applicable that is, but if they can put this knowledge into practice, then they may see the application.